What's going on YouTube? This is Boxing Wave and I finally hit 10,000 subscribers today. I want to thank you guys for, for supporting the channel, man. Um, I've been around here for a long time. I've been here for a while. I've been here since 2013. I made my first video in 2013. Danny Garcia against Lucas Matisse. That was my first prediction video. That was my first video ever. Um, just to, that's, that's, that's to let you know how long I've been around. Um, I want to thank anyone that subscribed to the channel, like, dislike, leave comments, um, especially anyone that's donated to the channel. I really appreciate that because people don't understand. You guys come, click a button, and you get your entertainment for free. It is what it is, you know. I know we get monetized and stuff, but the money ain't really no real money, you know. It's just some extra, extra change money. It's no real money, at least not for me. But, um... It's, it's, this was a hobby for me. I created the channel because one of my best friends, USA MVP, some of you guys know his channel from back in the day. He had a channel. He talked me into, into making a, a channel. Um, and this is one of my real best friends in real life. Uh, you see me do videos, a few videos with him before. He talked me into doing a boxing video, uh, uh, having a boxing channel because he had one. And we used to just be on the phone talking boxing all day. Okay, and I created my channel. I didn't know of a YouTube community. I didn't even know any other channel out there. I used to only come on YouTube to watch boxing fights. I never wanted to listen to anyone on YouTube. But when I got on here, I immediately realized I got comments and other YouTube channels started to hit me up. And I started to watch their content. And I was like, yo, this is a whole community on here. And it has been there for years. It's been, been a, like these guys, there's some guys on here that's been on here for a decade. All right. Um, the difference between then and now. Yeah, you have some channels that had some beef with each other. But, you know, usually everybody just talk boxing, man. It was no. It was just it was just straight boxing talk back then, you know, and, and I kind of miss those days. But the community was smaller. We didn't get views for videos. You know, I remember I used to get 200, 300 views, 500. I used to like getting uh, 500 views in a, on a video. And when you got a thousand views, over a thousand, that used to be like a big thing, you know, when I got a thousand views on, on one video. You know, if you wasn't talking about Floyd or Pacquiao or uh, maybe a Canelo or a Triple G, you wasn't getting that many views back then, you know? It's just how it was back then. You know, so it came a long way. I see a lot of newer channels. Shout out to all the newer channels that's coming in, getting 10K subscribers off the rip. You know, but even even for the the heavy hitters on YouTube, boxing the boxing community is still small compared to the basketball community. The basketball channels got over a million subscribers easily. You know, most of the uh, boxing media channels get a lot of subscribers they're over the 100k 200k but even so it's still low compared to the media channels or other sports or even car channels or anime chart channels or movie channels these guys got 500,000 subscriptions a million dollars a million subscription but it's all good man because at the end of the day this was always a hobby for me um, I want it to remain a hobby. You know, I don't do media because it's just not my thing. I don't want to, I don't want I don't want this to become like a job to me. And this is why I feel like I'm personally just hitting 10 K because I've taken these long six months, three months periods and breaks and I'll come back and my subscribers will be lower, you know, because people want to subscribe to people that are active and I've, I've, I've taken my long breaks from here, you know? But this past year, this past uh, nine months or so, half of my subscribers came within the last nine months just because I've been more active than I used to be, you know, and I'm going to I'm here to stay. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm going to I'm here to stay. I, I dedicate a lot of my time to this channel. You know, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to the pace that I used to when I first started the channel. You know, I used to be doing three, four five videos a day throughout the week you know when I first got on and I used to edit my videos and I used to do a whole lot of stuff you know I used to always be in different locations I used to do a lot of work in my old videos man I don't think I, I can't 
I can't do it at that pace anymore because I just don't have the time, you know. But uh, I'm going to always continue to be here and be active. I'll take my little breaks. Like last week, I took last week off, enjoyed my birthday. I just enjoyed my time off um, from the channel a little bit. And sometimes we need those, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you for anyone that supported the channel. What's coming up? What's coming up? I'm, I have a new channel coming out. I uh, just haven't decided on the name yet. I have a couple of ideas, but I have a new channel coming out. Um, a lot of people like, like my content outside of the boxing. So I'm going to make a channel just basically talking about every other thing that I'm into. You know, I love, I'm, I'm a movie buff. I'm a car buff. Uh, I love anime. I love music. I love battle rap. I love travel. I love. Well, I'm not a gamer no more. I don't really play video games that much, but um, you know, I, I it's a whole bunch of the stuff that I'm into outside of boxing. And whenever I do a video on it, you guys want me to do more videos on that stuff, and I don't have the time. And plus, the boxing fans are here for boxing content. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I don't want to put too much time into other things, but I will make another channel. I also created a Patreon. Uh, I created it. Just haven't uploaded yet. Um, that's going to be more of a podcast base. Hour long, two hour long, weekly uh, content. Okay. So look out for that. There will be another announcement soon when I start uploading on there. Right. So be on a lookout for that. Also, I'm going to try to clean up my playlist up because I have a lot of old videos that are still relevant today. I did a lot of, uh, I used to do a lot of throwback videos. Meldrick Taylor against Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., uh, Floyd Mayweather against Castillo, um, what other fights? De La Hoya against Trinidad. I used to do other type of videos. I used to do all top 10, all time type videos. I got to do videos like that again. I would like to start doing those kind of videos, you know, um, because those videos are fun. It's always good to look at other fights. I see that there's channels out here. Uh, Show Biz the Adult. He's been doing that lately. And um, that's dope. Um, there's other channels that do it as well. I'm sure. But um, I want to start going back to doing stuff like that too. But I'm going to clean. I'm definitely going to clean up the playlist. And just put out some classic videos that I used to do. And make a playlist of that for you guys can view and have access to. I, I want to go back to doing that as well. Um... So everything that's everything that's coming up. But before I go, I just want to salute and shout out to all of the other other boxing channels out there, man. Uh, because you inspire the newer channels that are coming. There's so many newer channels that are inspired by that by me and that channels that I was inspired by when I came on and found out about them. Okay. Um, shout out to the newer channels. The uh, well, maybe not all of them are new, but maybe I'm, they're new to me, you know. Shout out to Counter Punch Boxing, great, great stuff. Uh, shout out to uh, Boxing with Addy, He's, he has a great channel. Showbiz, the adult, uh, IBFP, I just subscribed to him. Box Sporting Icons, uh, great stuff. Ring Boxing IQ, great stuff. Uh, everyone in the LDBC, we might not all get along, but. Shout out to them, man, because I, I know I used to talk and have talks with these guys back in the day when it was no LDBC, when it was just Lions then and before that. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to you got to shout out them because you guys feed off each other. And I noticed that a lot of channels are making videos going at the LDBC and the LDBC make videos going at them. And what I what I realized is you guys actually feed off each other. And if your videos are monetized, you guys are actually feeding off each other. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I think all of you channels are needed because you give a different perspective and that's needed. You know what I'm saying? So even if we don't always get, to get along and everybody doesn't get along, we have our differences, it's still needed. We still need a different outlook of things. So shout out to the older channels like a Carcino that was here doing, I don't even know he does, does boxing videos anymore, but shout out to Carcino, shout out to The Wire, shout out to Boxing Beats and Rhymes, all right, one of my favorite channels, uh, shout out to 78 Sports TV, 
Blood Boxing, Dante's Boxing Nation, Boxing Eco, okay? Uh, uh, D Style Boxing, uh, uh, Zone 6. Um, who else is out there? Fair Shake Boxing. You know, all of these channels that were here way before I even got here, you know? Um, shout out to them and shout out to, uh, shout out to Black Fight Fan. Um, shout out to anyone that's doing media, ES News, Fight Hub, Fight, uh, Fight Hub, you got Fight Hype, you got IFL TV, you got the, the Boxing Voice, Seconds Out, all these channels give us, they provide us with information for us to have content to speak on. Shout out to the boxing scenes, uh, the websites, boxing scene, um, who else do I go? Boxing News 24, uh. Fight News, Fight News, uh, so many other channels out there. Bad Left Hook. Shout out to all the media that provides us the information we need to do, to give content. Everybody has a place on YouTube. You know, if it wasn't for the media that we complain about, we wouldn't have any content to speak of. They give us the information, we speak on it. We spread the word, okay? So uh, we, you know, and shout out to the YouTubers. Like, again, you need YouTubers that have a different view on things. Whether you feel that they're biased or not, we're all a little biased, at least a little bit. All of us. You can't never be biased. This is why I do breakdowns and I tell you in every breakdown, I say, this is who I think is going to win and why. And this is who I'm rooting for. I do that because I want you to know, even if that person is the same person, I let you know where I'm coming from just because, you know, I try to not be biased. Sometimes I still am, you know, recently I did Pete, Keith Thurman and Manny Pacquiao. I want Keith Thurman to win, but I think Pacquiao is going to win, but I'm not even really sure with that, you know, but I, I picked Pacquiao to win. But um, this is this is what we need. You know, and let's just be respectful. I like people that disagree in my comments, but they're respectful and they can break down my video and say, this is why I disagree with you or this is why I do agree with you. I like to have 90% of comments like that. When you do certain videos on certain fighters, you get a bunch of, you know, you're stupid, you're this, you're that, you're this, you know, it could be racial slurs, it could be all kind of stuff. That's annoying, but it, it comes with it. If you're a YouTuber, if you're in, or a social media, period, you're going to get those kind of comments. All right. So everybody that's out there, keep working, keep pushing, keep pumping. Um, anyone that comments, support the channels. OK, support the channels. If you can donate even just a dollar, you never know. I mean, everybody has to take the time out to do these videos you know and it takes a lot it takes a lot you know these guys some people I don't have kids and stuff but some of these guys I'm sure they have families they have careers you know they have bills they have to pay and now because they have a following they do everything in their power to entertain you because they just love it it's not all of them is doing it for money some of them are doing it some of them are out there and they're just there's some channels out there that I've checked out over the years and I'll be like yeah, this guy is just making fake videos and just putting out fake news. And, you know, there's channels out there that's just just totally toxic. But there's channels out there that are really putting out great quality stuff, man. I know, I'm, that's, I, know I do. And I'm going to continue to do that. All right. Um, so anyway, once again, thanks for everyone that supported the channel. And let's get to 20K, man. Let's get to the next. Let's get to the next level. That's all I can really ask, and um, I'll just keep putting out these videos, man. No more long three-month, six-month breaks for me, man. It's over. I'm in. I'm invested. I'm fully invested, and I'm going to keep going. All right, so peace. I got other content coming up, a lot of fights coming up. So check that out, and also check out for the other channels, the Patreon, everything else that's on the way. All right? Peace.